Hey, Gio, what's up, man? Hey, good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you again. I guess I, it's my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody did <here. laughs> You thought it was the wrong yeah, meeting, yeah. huh? <laughs> nah, it's okay, man. You're in the right meeting. <laughs> You're in the right place at the right time. All right. Very good, man. All right, let me turn on my camera here. There you go. All right, guys. What is going on? <laughs> I'm dressed as a lumberjack today. Right. <clears throat> and and uh, I count my weight like one, two, you know, I styled my weight like one, two. <laughs> Hello, Rosa Navas, Michelle, Cesar, how are you guys? How is everyone? Good. <laughs> Good? Great teacher. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening. All right. Uh, Ruth Castro, welcome. Welcome. How was your day, Ruth? Uh, a little tired. A little tired? Why? What happened? I I have a lot of work. You had a lot of work to do, okay. All right. Yes. What what do you do on weekend? Sorry? What do you do? What do you do on uh what did you do on your weekend? On my weekend I I went to visit my grandma grandma and I I went to uh um, ladies activity uh at church on Saturday and on Sunday I went to watch church again um in the morning and the afternoon oh nice Nice. Okay. All right. So you like, so you don't like staying home, home, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. What about you, Caesar? How was your day? I had to clean a lot of stops in the work and I get dirty. Yeah. My shirt got dirty. So oh, your shirt got dirty? Yeah, All because right. I didn't know that I, I, I was going to do that, and it was a mess, so. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, happens, you know. Um, what about you, Michelle? How was your weekend? Well, I didn't do too much. I went to a, <clears throat> to a quinceañera party, and that was all the uh, exciting part of my weekend. <laughs> oh okay all right very good so you went to to the sweet 15 here right that would be the sweet 15 it's called the sweet 16 guys the sweet 16 parties but um here in this country we call it the you know it's it would be the sweet 15 okay all right <laughs> marvin okay good job michelle marvin uh hello marvin what's going on hey hello everyone Good evening. Good evening. Uh, how are you, Marvin? Uh, I am fine. What do you do on your weekend? On my weekend, I um, clean my my room, and I I went to my to my grandmother to visit, right, and stay with my family, and watch it with the movies. And you watch movies, okay. All right, very good, very good, guys. All right, guys, welcome. Uh, nice to see you guys. Hi, man, welcome back. Carlos De Leon, welcome back. Nelson, Gio, nice to see you, man. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you for making thank it you. to the end. This is our last week together, all right? Uh, <laughs> and I said together, guys, I, I, I would probably have you guys, and, and on, in all honesty, I would probably have you. 
but the thing is, guys, that I, you know, I'm, I'm getting, um, I'm getting, a, I'm, I'm, I'm starting, you know, at a certain time and, you know, the schedule, this schedule is not good for me. I need to have a schedule at 9 p.m., you know, and the problem with that is that we don't have advanced classes at 9 p.m., you know, it's only intermediate, right? So, um, but, but I think I both of the group, if I if the class is a night PA, is not a problem. I no, I yeah, that that would be great, you know, that I could have you at 9 p.m. The problem is that, um, you know, that's InsaForm has, you know, it's it's on it's on uh, schedule, so I really don't have control over that. But like, I'll, I'll check on my schedule, right? But yeah, like 8 p.m. It's really hard for me because, you know, I'm missing like, you know, part of my class, you know. <laughs> but, but yeah, guys. All right, Veronica, welcome back. All right, guys. Hi, uh, all right, guys. You look so, different. I. It's it's not you know I I just got a, I I just I just um flattened it a little bit you know um but it's the same haircut you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I uh, but one thing is um I'm so I, I I mean yes because I just came from the gym if you see like I'm all red <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I haven't stopped going to the gym guys like I'm I'm going like crazy because I want to lose weight you know I want to get like all pumped up <laughs> anyways guys so um let's get started guys all right guys so today guys we have not a complicated topic, it's a fun topic, okay? Everything that's that seems complicated is fun, guys, okay? All right. So, but I need to start, guys, with a small review, all right? I need you to tell me, guys, something that we've seen so uh, before, you know? So, guys, relative clauses, okay? So, what makes a relative clause? That's what we're going to talk about today, all right? So the topic for today, guys, is you know how to reduce uh, how to reduce these relative clauses, okay? But first of all, guys, first of all, what is a clause, guys? Okay, let's answer the question: What is a clause? A sentence. All right, very good. It's very good. Okay, a sentence, guys. Okay, be careful. Mm -hmm. All right, a sentence, guys, could have two different clauses, or you could have more clauses. Okay. So it's not really a sentence, guys, okay? So what, what, so if, if a sentence, you know, can contain more than one clause, what do you think a sentence is? A group of clauses. Uh, a group of clauses would be considered a sentence, right? You could have- A group of words. Very word. good, okay, good job, yeah. Jaime, right? It is a group of words, all right? And what makes it a clause, guys? It cannot stand by itself. Well, that's a different. That's a type of relative. That's a type of clause. Okay, if it can't stand by itself, that's a that's a dependent clause, right? Like, like el toxic or la toxica, depending on you, right? So it, it, it's a group of war. It's a group of war without a verb. Okay, it's okay. It's a group of words, guys. That. Contain. Write this down, guys, because if you don't understand this part, you're not going to understand how to reduce, how to reduce, you know, relative clause. Okay, it's a group of words that contain a subject okay. and, and a, a verb. verb. Okay, so far so good. All right. Okay. So, guys, if you want to remember, you know, what a relative clause is, you got to remember this, right? Subject and a verb, right? Give me, a, give me, try to give me a clause. Um. Let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Geo, all right? Try to give me a clause. Something that contains a subject and a verb. And tonight, I'm going to do my homework. Okay, tonight, right? Very good. So, tonight, I'm gonna do my homework okay very good so tonight uh tonight i'm gonna do my homework now is this a clause guys and why is it a clause uh, no, no not a clause because have a verb clause. 
why is it's this is not a clause is this is this not is, is this not a clause guys yes it is because no it, they, 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 not the clause the because they have, have a verb and a verb they have a verb but the Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> guys do we have a do we have a subject yeah yeah all right very good do we have any verbs here do we have a verb yeah yes, yes, yes. right by simply saying you know i am right we have the verb am okay so this is a clause yeah. okay all right this is a clause guys okay very good now what is a relative clause then okay what is the difference between a dependent independent clause a relative clause okay first off okay so to talk about that guys all right let's go back to this we're going to talk about uh 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 uh, uh, uh there you go <laughs> all right so we're going to talk about what relative clauses are okay now to talk about relative clauses guys we have to talk about relative Relative what? What do you think? It starts with a P and then follows, it, it, it's followed by an R. Pronouns. Pronoun. Pronouns, okay? So we have to talk about relative pronouns, okay? All right, and what are relative pronouns, guys? These are just, you know, cute like words, guys. Which... I'm sorry, what was that? Like who? All right, very good, which? okay. So we have like who, all right, like that. So we which? have we have who, we have which, we have, what else? That, 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 that okay. What who's, else? Who's, who's. Okay, we have who's, which, what, which, that. Okay, uh, very good, what, okay, very good, guys, okay. So we have a bunch of relative pronouns, okay. So now, guys. So now, if we need, you know, if we're talking about a relative pronoun, what do you think, what do you think happens when, what, what do you think happens, guys, when uh, you're using, when you're going to talk about a relative clause? You need to use a pronoun instead of a, of a subject, I think. Okay, all right. Let's let's build, guys. Let's build. Now, in in the platform, guys, you only have. Let's see. You only have one, two, one, two. You have you only have two relative pronouns, okay? But you know, we guys are smart, aren't we? All right. So you can do more than that, right? All right, guys. So let's build a sentence together, guys. All right. So over here. All right. So let's uh, let's start a relative pronoun, guys. Okay. So now, a relative pronoun, guys, would it be dependent or independent? If I say, you know, um, dependent, I think that okay. Independent, independent. If I say something like that, like right, this, right? Um that is able to fix a car. All right, so now guys, first off, all right, if I say something like this, guys, is this a clause, yes or not? Yes or no? No. No, why not? Uh, because you need a subject. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, that that's that's a good, you know, that's a good guess, right? That's a good attempt. So what what else, guys? What else do you think? You don't under you, you need a something that tells you what what is that thing that is able to fix the car. It's a dependent you know, sentence, I think. All right, very good. Okay, so now, guys, all right, that that makes sense. Okay, but remember, guys, you're right. Okay, you are absolutely right. Now, guys, remember this, guys. Pronouns, guys, over here, the word pronoun, right? What if, what if this was, you know, why do you think that we call this pronoun, guys? Think about it. Why are we calling that a relative pronoun? And let me ask you this. Can a pronoun, guys, be a subject? 
can of I course. say, can I say, guys, for example, okay, and this is what I want you to understand here, right? Can I say he is able to fix a car? Can I say this? Yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is the difference, guys? Okay. But right. you need the, another clause uh, with the specific information for doing with the uh, with the with the a clause with a relative pronoun because they okay. that, that provides more more information. All right, wall of fame. Okay, and applause for Vero. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Errol. All right, anyways, okay. Yes, guys, okay. Um, I was gonna get to that part too, right? Yes, all right. Veronica is absolutely right, right? So these guys is a clause, okay? Yes, it is a clause. Got it? Now, the reason why, guys, I I compared it with this example right here. All right, let me pull it back up again. The reason why I compared it here, guys that is able to fix a car is because you can substitute that, guys. You can substitute that relative pronoun with he, for example, or she, right? She is able to fix a car. Got it? Now, do you, do you understand, guys, how these two... Oh, all right, hold on. Do you understand, guys, why this and this relates? They are both working as a subject, subject. A subject, okay? And they're both working as pronouns, okay? That's why it has the word pronouns, okay? Pronouns can be the subject of a sentence, okay? Now, is this a pronoun? She, is this a pronoun? Yes? Mm. All right, it's a personal pronoun, right? Is that a pronoun, guys? Yes or no? Yes, it's a pronoun. Yes, it is a pronoun, right? So now that, would, would that be a pronoun? Or which, yes. or that, or whose, or, or who, right? Very good, guys. Those are also pronouns, which are called relative pronouns, okay? Yes, so far so good? So far so good? Oh, yes. All right, let's get more examples, okay? Maybe we need a couple of more happy examples. <laughs> Only people who have seen what browser understands that reference. All right, guys. So, um, so let's see, guys. Okay, give me another sentence. Um, Geo. All right. Let's start by having. All right. Let's start this, guys, with a relative pronoun. Okay. Remember, all right, to recognize the relative clause, guys, we have to make sure that we recognize the relative pronoun first. Okay. All right. So let's use, guys, if you have access to Google, guys, go ahead, all right? Look for relative pronouns, okay? And give me sentences with those, okay? Gio, all right? Let's start up a new sentence. Let's start a new sentence with the uh, with a relative pronoun. A new clause, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That is too hot to drink. Okay. Now, re remember something, guys. In this case, guys, when we say that... We are not referring to that, okay? Got it? There is a difference. When you say this, you know, this, that, okay? This is not, how do we call these guys? This and that. Demonstrative. Very good, okay, good job, okay? All right. So this helps us to demonstrate things, right? So. Now, this is not the same, okay? This has two functions, okay? All right, either, in this case, we're gonna use this as a relative pronoun, not as a demonstrative adjective, okay? Got it? So, uh, so if you say that is good, now, if I say that is good, guys, is this a relative pronoun? Is this working as a relative pronoun or not? No. No. It's not working as a relative pronoun, okay? All right. You seem a little bit confused, Gio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's okay, all right? That, I think that's confusing, okay? All right, let me let me give you another example, okay? Hold on, guys. Let me see. Did everybody else understand the difference, guys, between a relative pronoun and using it, you know, as, um, as a demonstrative? 
No, okay, very good, okay. All right, all right, very good, okay. So then it's good, guys, okay. So there are two ways, Geo, in which you can use that, okay. So you have, okay, so for example, right, you can be, this is you, right, and you're going to be standing and you're going to be pointing, all right, let's, all right, you're pointing at something here, right, and you're going to talk about, I don't know, man, that box or something over here, right, right, up. Uh, all right, anyways, guys, okay, excuse my Picasso. Okay, so you're gonna talk about a box, right? All right, and um, anyways, okay, so this is you, all right, this is where you're gonna be standing, all right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And you're gonna be, okay, so you're pointing at that, okay? All right, this is that, yeah. okay? This is when you're referring to that, okay? But when you say, guys, that plus the verb be, guys, okay, for example, uh the car that is standing there right that is standing there or, or you know the 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 woman uh the woman not the woman guys okay um well yeah you can say the woman that is waiting there okay so when you say that is waiting there all right this right here does not refer you're not pointing at anything okay all right mm -hmm. instead of pointing at something you go like you know this is not you know pointing at anything you're not demonstrating anything Got it? All right, so it's not the same, right? One helps you demonstrate something. The other one doesn't allow you to demonstrate something. The other one is just a connector, okay? In, in Spanish, guys, it has a different translation, although I don't want you to speak Spanish, guys. But basically, it's like saying this, okay, Gio? If you want to understand. When you say that, when you use it like that, it's like saying ese, esa, esa cosa, all right? When you use it like a relative pronoun, it's saying que. Que es capaz de arreglar un carro. Got it? All right. So C has two different translations too, right? Now, is that clear, guys? <laughs> more enough? I mean, more, um, a little bit? A bit. More or less? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. But forget about the demonstrative, okay? Right? I don't want you to demonstrate anything today, guys. You're not going to demonstrate anything, okay? So let's change that, guys. Okay, use another one, right? Let's use. Let's not use that, so you can understand better. Okay, let's use who, right? Let's try to use who. Mhm. Mm I'll give you an example. Who is looking for a couple? All right. All right. Now, first off, remember, this is not a question, guys, okay? This is not a question, all right? This is a, rel this is a relative clause, okay? This is a relative clause, and this right here is also a relative clause, right? That is able to fix the car, okay? All right, so no, do, notice something, guys, okay? We are using, what do we call this? The verb to be. The verb be, guys, okay? All right, so very good, okay. So do, do something, guys. Let's start a sentence, guys. Let's start a clause with a relative pronoun. So over here, right? Choose one of these pronouns. Let's use who, okay, over here, right? And then use the verb be, okay? So that's how we're gonna start building. <laughs> that's how we're gonna start building a relative pronoun, okay? All right, who, and we're gonna use I'm sorry, we're going to use who and is, okay? So who is? All right, uh, let's see. Let's see, guys. Who wants to try, guys? Who wants to try? Uh -huh -huh. Let's see, Veronica. All right, Veronica. Hey. Who is uh, smart? Who is smart, okay, very good, okay. All right, very good, okay. This is a, you know, this is a relative pronoun. I mean, the relative clause, guys, okay. We have a subject. What is the subject, Jaime? Who? Oh. All right, and what is the verb? Is. Is. Is, is okay, is, guys. Is is the verb, guys, is is a verb, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, is is a verb, guys, okay, very good. All right, good job, Veronica, good job, all right. Nelson, give me another one, right? Let's uh, let's use who. Who? 
is who? my friend. Who is my friend, okay? See, very good, guys. So who is my friend? Very good, see? Easy peasy, right? Very good. Um, then uh, let's see, Michelle, give me another one. Uh, who is ready to start classes? Okay, very good. It's just like making a question, guys. Who is ready to start the class, okay? All right, very good, okay. Uh, let's see, Alexander, give me another one, sir. Uh, who is my dog? Okay, I'm sorry, who is my dog, okay, very good. Who is my dog? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, I mean, you can use that. Uh, I was thinking about the compliment, you know, the first uh, clause that we need to use. Okay, very good. Who is my dog? Very good, okay. All right, let's change that. Let's change that to that, guys, okay? Let's use that. All right, that can be used for people and also for things, right? Uh, Gio, give me another one with that. That plus the verb be, right? Uh, that, is, that is my... The, 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 that is cooking dinner. Okay, that is cooking dinner. Okay, good job. Okay, very good. All right. That uh, is okay to learn. What's, what was that? You can say that it's easy to learn. That is, okay, all right. That is easy to learn. Very good, guys. Okay, right. Very good. Okay. Now, that guys. That is my car. Okay. Now, when you say that is my car, you're demonstrating something, right? No, but because you, it's the strains. Well, you can say, you can that say, is. no, you, it still sounds like you're demonstrating something. But you can say that is... That is, um, all right, let's try my, that is my car, okay? And then we, we're gonna come up with an answer for that, okay? Very good, guys. So, so far so good, guys. Do we know how to recognize a relative clause? Yes? Gio? Mm -hmm. uh, Jaime? Yeah. How do you recognize a relative clause, Jaime? They have an, uh, an, um... You recognize it by, how do we call these guys? Relative pronoun. relative pronoun. Okay, very good. Jaime, how do you recognize the relative clause? Okay, that the group word have a, a pronoun, pronoun. Okay, it has a relative pronoun, right? Pronoun. Has a relative pronoun. Very good, Jaime, good job. Um, all right, very good. Um, let's see, Marvin. Marvin, all good, Marvin? Yeah. All right, very good. Yeah. So now, guys, all right, now that you guys are good at it, all right, let's start building sentences, guys, okay? All right, so in the examples from the platform, guys, those are very easy, guys, easy peasy, right? So, um, so we're going to talk about how to shorten them, okay? Now, do we all understand what the meaning of shorten is, guys? Shorten. To yeah. make it short. Very good, okay? <laughs> to make something shorter, right? <laughs> all right, so it's to cut something. I well, want to it, say to reduce. All right, to reduce, okay? So it's, uh, it, you know, to reduce. Very good. Reduce and, uh, all right. It is to reduce it, okay? Let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that, okay? All right. Very good. Now, guys, um, so you can shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be. How do we do this, okay? All right, so we know, guys, that we have something like, you know, that is mm, capable. Let, you know what? That is... Um, a really good person, okay? Let's use this, guys, okay? Now, is this a relative, is this a relative uh, pronoun? Yes? Yeah, yes. Yes, it yeah. is, right? So let's use, that is a really good person, guys, okay? So you can say, guys, for example, here, you know, um, 
let's see. Let's use a different clause. How? What type of clause, guys, could we use? Could we use to join these two Who's? sentences together? I'm sorry. Whose? Whose? No, 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 guys. Okay, all right. What what type of what type? Of, I'm sorry. All right. What type of independent clause could we use? Or dependent clause, you know, to, to join this together. You can say, you know, he or Cheyenne, right? Mm -hmm. Is someone, all right? You can say Cheyenne uh, is someone, right? And then you can use that or okay. is, guys, okay? Ooh. Okay, that is a... Uh, really good person but you're gonna notice something here guys what's wrong why why can we can we shorten this up guys can we reduce it mm. why do you have two burby or is it because the first one is one clause and the other one is a second clause right so okay and shouldn't that be separated by comma chian is someone that is a really good person no no it's okay mm -mm. Uh, okay. All right. Very good. Now, uh, but there is there is a trick here, guys. Why can we shorten this up, guys? What do you think? Chayanne is someone that is a really good person. When I mean shorten this up, guys, I'm talking about. I don't, can we... don't see the verb. In, but that is, is with a verb to be, but really good person is like an attitude. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's spot, okay, let's spot it, guys. Okay, why can we not make this, you know, why can we not shorten this up? Okay, so can we? Can I say Cheyenne is someone is a really good person? No, right? Yeah. We can't. So what is going on here? What, what do we need, guys? I could say just Cheyenne is a really good person. All right. <laughs> but that's different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, it's guys. Really cool, I will say. Dualipa. Yeah. What? Dualupe? Dualupe. <laughs> All right. Now, if you want to shorten this up, guys, okay, you're going to have to use a certain structure, okay? So um, the structure, guys, that we should be using would be the relative, right? Hold on. I'm going to call the relative pronoun, guys, RP, okay? RP will, will mean relative pronoun, okay? So we need the relative pronoun, guys plus the verb to be plus now guys when i say a really good person guys that's yes uh someone said okay. that you know that i was using an adjective right uh an adjective yes, right? No and adjectives, no, verb. exactly okay now guys what we need to use here guys you need to use another another what another verb another verb guys okay all right, and after using that verb, what do we think? Well, I mean, what do we need? Um, the complement. I'm sorry, the complement, okay? Very good, okay? So we need the complement, okay? All right. So this is, guys, okay, and I'm going to put it like three dots here, guys, just because it's it, this is the second part of the clause, right? Now, what you need before this, guys, there is another element here that you need, you know, to talk, um, you, 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 so that you need before you do this, guys, okay? You need? Another clause, principal clause. Independent clause. Very good, okay, but there is, okay. Clause. But there is something, something, guys, more specific that you need, okay? Here, guys, okay, you need to, to talk about who you're referring to, okay? Subject. All right, you need a subject. You, you need, okay, you need a subject, guys. Okay, that could okay. be a noun or it could be a, um, you know, a pronoun, etc. right? It could be, so uh, if you go to the platform, guys, you're going to, you're going to find the nouns, right? So here, guys, you got, you got the structure now, okay? This is a structure for shorten, uh, shorten uh, relative pronouns, okay? So now, what is the meaning of shortening things up, guys? It is, you know, we're going to eliminate the relative pronoun now, okay? So now, let's take a look at example. I add an example, guys, okay? Can I say, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can I say a doctor? Uh, can I say a doctor is someone? 
and then use the rest here, guys. Who is able he, he, to is. heal your People. your wounds? Can I say this, guys? A doctor is someone who is able to heal your wounds. Now, guys, can I say this? Yes. I don't understand what the meaning of wounds. Yes. Wounds yeah. are like an injury. Like injuries, injuries. exactly, right? Yeah. Those are wounds. Okay. okay, very good. All right, very good, guys. So, all right, hold on. Let me cut this short here. All right, so let me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh -uh. Just the. Uh... Okay, here, guys. <laughs> All right, that didn't work out as expected, but a doctor is someone who is able to heal your wounds, okay? So now, guys, let me correct that, guys, because that doesn't seem as right. I like here, okay? All right, so a doctor is someone who is who, right? Who or that, guys? Here you can use both of them, right? It would mean the same because we can use it for people too, right? That is able to uh, heal your wounds, okay? Very good, guys. So here, all right? So we got the two elements. We have the first clause, guys, and then we have the second clause, right? Now the first one is, is uh, working as a subject, guys, all right? So a doctor is someone who is able to hear you once. Now, guys, say this out. Magic now. All right. Try to read that, guys. Okay, somebody help me read that, but without using the relative pronouns. You have a doctor with someone able to heal your wounds. Very good. Okay, I forgot to raise this, guys. That, that is too very good. A doctor is someone able to hear your wounds. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So see, you guys. That's a trick, guys. Okay, that's that's you know that's that's a trick behind you re reducing relative pronouns. And now, what's the logic behind it, guys? Is because, um, is because th this is this this guys in English is always optional, and it is the same in Spanish, guys. If you were to translate it, it would be exactly the same. You know, you can reduce it in Spanish as well. Okay, so now, guys. Okay, that's the first example, right? Let's try. Uh, uh, let's try a different example. All right. I'm sorry, my camera is very good. Okay, so let's try a different example, guys. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ru Ruth Castro. All right, Ruth. Let's try uh, your example. <gasps> Let me think. <laughs> Um, um, a mechanic is someone Very good. who is available to fix car. Okay, a mechanic, right? Hold on, yeah, different <laughs> color here, right? So, a mechanic, guys, a is mechanic. someone you can say a mechanic or a mechanic, it doesn't matter, right? A mechanic is someone, right? able or you can say that is right but uh who is able well, let's use who is okay who is able to fix to your car fix right car. can i reduce this guys can i reduce it yes or no yes all right very good guys okay yes i can reduce it right now guys can i say anything can i say something else other than you know uh able can i use a different ver verb can Capable. Okay, uh, you can say capable. Can. Oh, can. we. Now, can well. we use can, guys? Can we use can? Can would be a model verb, though. Can we use can? No. All right. A mechanic is someone who can fix your car. A mechanic is someone can fix your car. Uh uh. All right. Because can, guys, can is a model verb, okay? Model verbs don't work with reducing um we're reducing uh relative pronouns okay so you maybe to... repair a mechanic is someone who repairs your car a mechanic is someone repairs your car 
No. Ah, Six. so. Uh huh. We're we're forgetting something, guys. Who is right? Please. We're forgetting mm -hmm. the verb be, guys. Okay, a mechanic is someone who is. So why can we use guys after the verb is? Okay, that's the question. Okay, if you're able to answer that question, you're gonna be able to answer. You know, um, what the mechanic does. The the mechanic does, right? So let's get, let's see more examples. Okay, all right. So let's talk about the mechanic. Okay, the, a mechanic is someone. Okay, so we're good here, right? A mechanic is someone, and then then we need that is or who is, guys. What do you want to use? That is or who is? Who is? Who is? Who is? Okay. Who is? Let's be creative, guys. Okay. Who is always watching? Dua Lupe videos. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. Because he is insane. All right. All right, very good. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at, at like this, okay? Anyways, guys, so a mechanic is someone who always who is always watching Dualupe videos because he's insane, all right? Mm -hmm. Can we reduce this, guys? Yes or no? What do you think? My eyes are so red, guys. Jesus, okay, go ahead. You can reduce because he's the verb in continuous form. Mm -hmm. um, okay, all right. All right. So, uh, what do you think, guys? Do we have a different opinion? It could be possible. Just, no. I don't think so. <laughs> Mechanic is someone always because watching. Because if you eliminate who and is, it don't, don't have sense. Well, I, I'll teach you a trick, guys, okay? Don't complicate your lives, all right? Try to say it, guys, and... And ask yourself, you know, ask yourself, does it make sense? Does it sound good? A mechanic is someone always watching Dua Lupe videos because he's insane. insane. Yes, you can say it, guys, all right? So, yes, it can be reduced, okay? Because remember, guys, we're still using the verb be here. We're using this structure right here, right? And this structure can only be used with certain tenses, okay? Mm. Who is able or who is watching, right? So... Certain tenses, guys, you're not going to be able to use the verb be plus whatever tense you come across, okay? You're going to be able to use the verb be with certain with certain uh, tenses only, okay? And that's a trick, you know? All right, follow, you know, whatever this verb can do, you know, whatever verb can come after that, and that's how you do it, okay? All right, very good. Let's take a look at another example, okay? Let's talk about, I don't know, guys, give me another, give me another subject, you know, or... or um, Another uh, clause that works as a subject. What else can we say? Teacher, I have a question. I'm um, like, I'm quite confused, honestly, with this explanation. Go ahead. And, and it's because the independent clause to me, it's not that independent. So you said independent clause. What independent a mechanic clause? is someone. A mechanic oh, is someone. Uh-huh. Is that, is that it? But it, it does not make such a sense to me just saying a mechanic is someone. Okay. All right. Someone um, who works. I said, guys, okay. I said, guys, okay, that what you have to focus on is the clause working as a subject, okay? You don't even have to think if it is mm. dependent or independent, okay? Forget about that, okay? These right here, all right? These right here, guys, are, of course, you know, if you say a mechanic is someone, guys, that's a dependent clause, right? I said you can use a dependent or independent clause. However, this doesn't matter. What matters is that this works as a subject, okay? This is it, okay? A mechanic is someone, and then, you know, you follow the rest, right? A mechanic is someone, right, always watching Dualupe videos because he's insane, right? So the only thing that matters from this side before who, guys, all right, it's not that if it is independent or independent, guys, what matters here. Is it a subject? Does it work as a subject or not? Got it? Does that answer your question? I don't know. I'm yes. not sure who was asking. I'm sorry. Who was asking? Yes. Now it does. Okay. Right. Yes. Very good. Very good. Who was asking though? Who was asking? I don't know who was asking. Jordana. Oh, Jordana. 
<laughs> yes. All right, very good. All right, good job, Jordana. All right. Uh, so, anyways, guys, right? So now, with that being said, guys, thank you for asking that question. I think you know probably another person had it as well. So, with that being said, guys, okay, let's take a look at the first part. You can simply say as you know, someone, guys. All right, or you can say, mm, I don't know, a a a guitar player, right? Let's talk about a guitar player. A guitar player, all right? So see, guys, it's a subject, right? A guitar player is someone who is talent. Can I, can I, can I avoid is someone, guys? Can I say, let's see if this works, okay? A guitar player who is always singing makes me sad. <laughs> A guitar player who is always singing makes me sad. Can I say this? Yes. Yeah. Yes, guys, you can, right? So see, yes, we don't need someone, say. guys. We are experts, right? So you can say, you know, a guitar player always singing makes me sad, right? You make me sad, Gio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Very good, okay? All right, guys, let's take a look at another example, okay? Let's see. Okay, let's, can I say, guys, the forbidden one? Can I use the forbidden one here? Cheyenne? <laughs> <laughs> Can we use this, guys? <laughs> Cheyenne. Oh, what, what do we have here? Okay. Cheyenne, uh, who is, who is what? Talented. Now, remember, we have to use another verb, right? You can say, yeah. Good dancer, probably. Okay, is a good dancer? That's another adjective. We need a verb. Probably, maybe. Singer? What? Always Singer? dancing in the... In the okay, so Chan who's always dancing. Now, notice something here, guys, okay? Chan who's always dancing. Um, in his concert. In his concerts, okay. Now, notice something here, guys. If we do it like this, if we do it like this, guys, this is incomplete, right? Yeah. All right. This doesn't make sense. Chan, who's always dancing in his concerts, okay, there is something else missing, okay? We need something else, all right? So this would make it a, um, a dependent clause, okay? But don't focus on that yet, okay? Chan, who's always dancing in his concert, we would need a comma here, right? Now, this guys being, you know, uh, this whole thing guys being an independent, I mean, a dependent clause guys, can we shorten it up? Can we say Cheyenne always dancing in his always concerts? In concerts? Yes or no? No, no. All right. We can't, are you sure? I'm sure. We can guys, using... yes we can, but we need a coma, all right? We will need a coma here, right? Cheyenne always dancing in his concerts. Right, and then you put a compliment here. Uh -huh. All right, this would be the only way, guys, uh, as to how this would be achieved. Okay, all right, very good, guys. All right, so now do me a favor, guys, show me, guys, okay, what you learned so far. Uh, go ahead and send me your examples in the chat room, guys. Okay, I want simple classes, guys. You can say, you know, uh, I don't know, a toxico is someone who try to reduce okay let's try not to use who okay but remember you can use who or not i want someone one that uh, calling that <laughs> told you a lot <laughs> all right i want i want two things guys i want one with a complete re one used in the relative clause i talk to you someone who uh is right remember that you have to use the the the, the verb be right who is um, calling you all the time and you're going to use and you're going to give me the same sentence guys without the relative clause a toxico is someone calling you all the time okay got it so this is you know this is reduced and this one right here this one is, i'm sorry i'm sorry this one is complete guys i'm sorry complete right or you can use relative clause okay let's go like that and this right here, guys, is reduced, right? Reduced, a reduced relative clause, okay? 
All right, so show me your examples, guys, okay? And meanwhile, I'm gonna be asking for your individual examples here, all right? Jaime, let's go, Jaime, pick someone. <laughs> you thought that I was gonna pick, pick you, right? All right, pick someone, Jaime. Someone or? Uh, yes. is this pick, pick someone, pick someone. Gio. Gio, let's go, Gio. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I just made the, the first one. A guitar player is someone who's playing a lot of notes. A guitar player is someone who is playing a lot of notes, okay? Very good, and what, how would you reduce that? <laughs> I'm not getting that part yet, but let me see. Uh, get a prayer. Um, when I say reduce, it means that you're not gonna use a relative plus and you're not gonna use the verb be either. So where, where is the relative plus in the verb be here? Uh, get a prayer is playing a lot of notes. A guitar player is someone. Now remember, ah, yeah. you have someone... to take to get rid of the someone... relative pronoun and the rel and, and the verb be right. Someone playing a lot of notes. Very good. A guitar player is someone playing a lot of notes. Very notes. good. Good job, Gio. All right, then uh, let's go with uh, Veronica. Let's go, Veronica. I put the, uh, a teacher is someone who is always helping this, uh, their students. Someone, students. okay. Try to try to do it without is someone, guys. Let's try to see. Be creative, okay. Let's okay. try to see what makes sense here, okay. A teacher, is someone who is always trying to help his students, right? Students. All right, um, and the teacher, shortened version. A teacher is someone mm -hmm. always trying to help his students. Okay, always trying to help his students, right? Now, that would be their students. Why? Because we don't know the general, uh, I mean, we don't know the general of, um, of the teacher, right? We don't know if you're talking about a he or a she. All right. Okay. Uh, very good, guys. So, good job, okay? A teacher is someone always trying to help, you know, their students. Very good. Uh, Jordana. Let's go, Jordana. The one that I had it. Lalo is someone who is not able to enjoy it any simple moment in his life. Okay, who is very good at negative, right? I like that, okay. I Lalo is someone who is not able to enjoy what? Any simple moment in his life. Moment in his life. That's so sad, but everything started because they're, you know, his parents named him Lalo. What the hell is that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, I would feel sad as well. You know, I would be like, I wouldn't be able to enjoy any moment because of that name. All right. So how would you reduce this, Jordana? I'll say Lalo is someone not able to enjoy any simple moment in his life. Okay. Is, is someone not able? Very good to enjoy any simple moment in his life. You're kind of poetic, you know? <laughs> All right, very good. All right, very good. Okay, so yeah. far so good, guys. You're giving me, you know, you've been giving me great examples. Okay, um, -da 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 -da. who else do we have here? Uh, let's see, Michelle. Let's go, Michelle. Okay, uh, my sentence says, Oh, let's see. My classmate, classmates who are in charge of doing the proofreading are very smart. Okay, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand everything. My my classmates, what? Who are in charge? Who are in charge? Of doing. Of doing. Proofreading. Proofreading. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Which <laughs> guy? Uh huh. No, what I else? didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> are very smart. 
are very smart. I like that, okay? She said, my classmates who are in charge of doing witchcraft are very smart. I like that, okay? Good job, Michelle. All right. What uh, is witchcraft? Witchcraft yeah. is, is um, like, uh, have you seen <laughs> Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well they, they do magic but that's like witchcraft is from like magic from from women you know from i think that's that would be the definition right so anyways all right so what would be the reduced uh clause here michelle i mean the my uh -huh. in charge of doing witchcraft are very smart <laughs> Okay, witchcraft are very smart. Okay, good job, right? I like that. All right, let's see, Carla. Let's go, Carla. Okay, my face is. Um, uh, I guess, uh, a boss is someone who always is asking about reports. Someone who is always asking about reports, okay? And how will you reduce this? A boss is someone So how, how will you reduce this, Carla? Um, I don't know. So what is the relative clause here, uh, Carla? What is the, the relative pronoun? I'm sorry, the relative pronoun. In your sentence, okay, in this sentence right here, all right, where can you identify the relative pronoun? Is this a 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 relative pronoun? What is it? Is is always this is the relative pronoun right here. Who, all right? So to reduce the time clause, we're gonna kill Mr. Who and Mr. Verb to be, and that's it. That's all you have to do. All right. So now it says a boss is someone always asking about reports. You got it? Okay. All right, very good. So that's how we reduce it, guys. All right, uh, let me check guys on your answers, okay. Uh, let's see, Carlos De Leon says, my brother is someone who is always playing soccer. Perfect, my brother is always playing soccer, very good. Now, hold on, hold on, huh? hold on. My brother is always playing soccer. My brother is someone, all right, you forgot, my brother is always, I mean, my brother is someone always playing soccer, okay? So that's how it should have been, uh, Carlos. But uh, the first one was okay. Cesar, a head, a head coach is a person that is training a team to become champions. A head coach is a person training a team to become champions. Very good. Cesar, uh, Rosa Navas, a good pet is someone who is always waiting for you at home. A good pet is always waiting for you at home. Okay, very good. Veronica, a teacher is somewhere. You gave me that one. Jordana, Lalo, right, you gave me that one, Jordana. Gio, a guitar player is someone who's playing a lot of notes. A guitar player is someone playing a lot of notes. Very good. Carla, uh, we already went through that. Nelson, a pilot who is traveling many times in a year. That is not correct, Nelson. Um, we're going to see that later. And then we have Michelle, my class. Okay, now we already went through that. Nelson, a pilot is someone who is traveling many times in a year. Very good. A carpenter is someone who is always re who is always repairing. Okay, repairing. You're forgetting the verb in ing form there. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. How do you feel this topic, guys? How do you feel it at the end? How comfortable do you feel now? Oh. It's not difficult, right? It's just about, you know, it's killing. It's not that difficult. You, you think Who what? Or the relative pron pronoun, I don't know, and the verb. Okay, all right, very good. It's all about, right, the relative pronoun and the verb be, guys, and what you can conjugate after the verb be, right? So, yeah. but you got it, guys. Okay, you got it. So, guys, uh, we only have three days left. Let's make the best out of it. Uh, so, our last day, guys, you, you have to finish the platform. You have to have finished that platform, guys, before Thursday. When? 
Well, you can finish it on Thursday, guys, but you know, uh, it's right. But there is a final exam, okay? And the reason why I would ask you to finish it before then is so we can go through the final exam answers. Got it? Um, if you can't, if you don't complete the final exam before, you know, we can go through the answers during the class, right? Uh, but pretty much, guys, what we're missing, guys, is that, you know, you have listening quizzes and things like that. Um, so we're good, guys, okay? All right, we have covered everything so far. And um, yeah, guys, do, do you do you have any questions, guys? Any requests? Any complaints? No, I'm not gonna <laughs> complain. You good, guys? You good? Yeah, we're good. Yes, all right, guys, all right. So anyways, guys, yeah. um, thank you very much for joining, guys. Love you all. I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Take thank care, guys. You. Thank, thank you, you. be safe. Bye-bye, guys. See you, good night. See you, see thank you. you.